Broadcasting live from Palawan Eagle News Center. The heart, the soul, the face of Atelis of Isabella. Municipality of San Guillermo. This is San Guillermo today. Good morning, Cagayan Valley. Today is April 5, 2022. I am Kurt Abogado. We bring you the hottest, the latest, and breaking news of the hour. I am Mark Kibakiri. Here are the top stories of the hour. For the headline, Palawan Integrated School recommends district composite teams for their limited face-to-face -face classes. 205th Maneuver Company, RLFB2, forges commitment to Palawan Integrated School Environmental Education in Bawat Bata Bumabasa Project for Traffic Management. Sikian is now full-fledged public school district supervisor. Early registration now on its second week. In celebration of National Women's Month, Palawan Integrated School cluster teacher showcased a promise performances. Miss Paula crowned as Miss Work 2021. Here are the top stories of the hour. Palawan Integrated School recommends district composite teams for their limited face-to-face -face classes. Marsh Gay Bakary as our board. After the monitoring and assessment of San Guillermo District composite team headed by Dr. Wilson A. Sikian, Public School District Supervisor recommended through their member of the set team to division level. One to three. Is there two reasons? Yeah. Do you want to monitor? I don't want to monitor. 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 Preparing of the school for face-to-face -face in E-Stage 1. For traffic management, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, na yes. Yung problema lang natin sa yung prior. Ready na. Based on the school safety assessment tool, Meanwhile, Mr. Reynaldo Pareo, Principal 1 of Colorado Integrated School, supported the goals of the school to conduct the limited face-to-face -face classes. As far as I know, you are ready. In addition, Mr. Ronaldo Icontec, Principal 2 of San Guillermo Central School, suggested some tips, preparations to follow and prepare to be undergo for the assessment and monitoring of the division, validation team before it will declare to conduct the unlimited face-to-face -face classes. This is March Gibakiri reporting. Early registration now on its second week. Kristen Tumagos has a report. Palawan Integrated School started its week 2 on Saturday for the early registration for incoming kindergarten, grade 1, grade 7, and alternative learning system. Bring documents upon enrollment like PSA birth certificate. If no PSA certificate, also, bring NSO Barangay Certificate Registration Form. Enrollment period starts from March 25 until April 30 of different platforms like online, limited face-to-face -face basis, and contact the registrar of the school posted on Facebook account and mobile number. Mobile journalist, Christine Tumagos, reporting. 200 feet from Newburgh Company, RMMB2 from Barangay Makalawat, ang Adana, Isabel. Forges commitment to Palawan Integrated School Environmental Education and Bawat Bata Bumabasa Project. In celebration of National Women's Month, Palawan Integrated School, Cluster Teachers, showcase a promise performances. This is my report. Palawan Integrated School is one with the globe in celebrating the International Women's Day. Participated by cluster school teachers, parents at 205th Maneuver Company Regional Mobile Force Brigade 2 on March 23 at Palawan Integrated School, Quad Jungle. 
In the morning, 200 feet maneuver RMF B2 conducted reading activities to various grade levels as support to Deaf Ed's project of bus. Bawat bata bumabasa to ensure children read with comprehension and used in practical living. After which, cluster teachers, stakeholders led by Dr. Wilson A. Sikyan, District Supervisor, Noralyn Heidi M. Bulan, School Head and 205th MC RMF B2 forged commitment to ecological education of making Palawan green. They planted trees in some vacant lot adjacent in school campus. The tree planting activity started the week preparation after receiving the request. Moreover, invited resource speakers were discussed their respective topic on gender and development. Certificates and tokens were given the guests after the session. Cluster teachers, parents, skateholder were present during the gates of the program. Mobile journalist Kurt Abogado reporting. Sigyan is now a full-fledged public school district supervisor. Exclusive! Dr. Wilson A. Sikyan of San Guillermo District, San Guillermo, Isabela, took his oath as full-fledged public school district supervisor earlier this month. Dr. Sikyan has been serving as head of San Guillermo District more than a year and has been implementing numerous initiatives that ensured effective and efficient delivery of education service in San Guillermo. Meanwhile, Sikyan emphasized the significance of quality management, evaluation, and monitoring school in San Guillermo to ensure the quality of operations that is school's practices. Mobile journalist Kristin Tomagos reporting. Miss Paula crowned as Miss Work 2021. Tara Mater latest chica. Miss Poland, Carolina Bilasca, declared Miss World 2021 held at Coca-Cola Hall, San Juan, Puerto Rico, on Wednesday, March 16, 2022. In the Philippine time, it was on Thursday morning, March 17. Trisaini of USA awarded as first runner-up. Olivia Yase of Cote d'Ivoire bagged at Anna Leach of Northern Ireland. Meanwhile, the candidate from the Philippines finished the top 13. For 70 years of Miss World, only once the Philippines coveted the crowd. It is on 2013 Miss World Megan Young. This is Lara Montrae, updated in Showbiz Happy. And that's all the updates today. This is Berta Bugado and Mark Kipokiri. This is Vegas News Patrol, the voice, the agent, Michael Lee Zoki Tabela. God bless. God be all the